Hi, I'm Ruby Lefty, and you're watching Hummingbird's Kitchen. Today we'll be making. Hi, welcome to Hummingbird's Kitchen. Today we're gonna make Japanese yam chocolate ice cream. Okay, ingredients. So this is a uh, cooked Japanese yam. Uh, it's about 300 grams. And this is half and half. If you don't have a half and a half available where you live, you can mix with a heavy whipping cream and milk half and a half. And this is um, about um, 10 teaspoons. No, 10 tablespoons, sorry. Tablespoons, not teaspoons, tablespoons. And this is again about 10 tablespoons of half chocolate syrup, um, chocolate syrup like this, and um, sweetened condensed milk. So this is premixed. And a little bit of brandy. Um, this is optional, but I usually add about one teaspoon of brandy. Okay. All you need to do is very easy. Just mix and blend. So this is yam, and I'm gonna pour half and a half, and pour chocolate syrup and condensed milk. I'm gonna leave some so Miss Matt socks can lick later. That's fun part. And about one teaspoon of brandy. Maybe that was a tablespoon, that's okay. And blending time. Okay, so brand, brand, brand. all become blended and smooth like this. So all you need to do is just decant it into the, uh, well, yeah, whatever, the container. And then put it in the freezer. You know, Japanese yam itself is uh, a lot gooier than usual potato, um, like usual potato, sweet potato and stuff like that. So you don't have to add like gelatin or anything but after you freeze this stuff for a while and then it's just gonna be um, just the texture is just like ice cream so we'll see there you go off to uh, freezer oh the new Japanese phrase we learned uh, fridge is days ago and freezer is ray to ray to ko. So this is gonna go off to ray to ko. Itadashai! Okay, so once it's frozen, we're gonna uh, make it a little softer in the room temperature for a while. And you just use uh, ice cream dish or spoon or anything. And sure. Enjoy the ice cream. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's Hummingbird's Kitchen. About the flavor of this particular yam ice cream, I tried chocolate, I tried cafe ole, and green tea. They all taste good, but I don't particularly recommend vanilla because um, when I tried it, it suddenly tastes like yam. So if you like the taste of yam, try vanilla. But I would recommend the chocolate is the best. And then um, kefir ore was good too. But if you have a little kiss, maybe they don't like the coffee taste. Uh, that's it.
Joel, enjoy cooking. See you next time.